this video, I'm going over all of the controllers that you can use on Linux, what it's like, and basically what you need to go through to get them working. So it's gonna be six controllers, Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS4, Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, uh, Logitech controller, and then the Steam controller. So those are the six we're going over to today, and I'm about to jump right into it. Controller number one. It always makes uh, the number one to go over first. I'm gonna save the very best controller for last, my personal favorite. Uh, but this one right here, the Xbox 360. This one I've had forever and it is just a tried and true controller. It works fantastic. Uh, the wireless adapter pretty much is all the drivers are built in. You plug it in, you sync it up and you just go. So there's not really much configuration or anything that needs to be done with these controllers. They're pretty much plug and play, which is fantastic. Controller number two is gonna be the PS4 controller. I really like the versatility of this. You can plug this one in via USB, or you can do Bluetooth version four, low power is the best kind of connector for this. I've got it working on some other Bluetooth adapters, but actually don't just cheap out on the Bluetooth adapter. You need a good Bluetooth adapter if you're going about using these types of controllers or you're gonna connect through Bluetooth. So remember, Bluetooth 4, low power is preferred. I'll go ahead and leave a, a link in the description so you can easily buy that if you don't already have a Bluetooth adapter for your computer. Now to show you the actual Bluetooth connection, I went ahead and pulled up Bluetooth devices. You'll see this is the PS4. Um, simply hold the share button, hold the power button, wait for the lights to blink here. All right, we have a blinky light. Hit add new device. It scans, it should find something. And once this pops in, we'll just hit next. Select a next, you don't have to do a manual pin or any of that. Connection is successful, light turns blue. That's it, that's the setup. So don't go waste your time watching a 15 minute YouTube video where the guy rambles on for 15 minutes before he gets that part. You're welcome. All right, so we've gone over the Xbox 360, the PS4, and now we have the old school Logitech Rumble Pad. Yeah, this thing's ancient. It, I got this sometime in the past 15 years, so uh, you probably don't have a Rumble Pad, but I know they've redone it a couple times over the years and very much the same type of setup. It works right out of the box. So this one, very good. Um, I will say it works a little bit different than an Xbox 360 controller. So some games don't like uh, the triggers and these work just like buttons. There's no actual pull to them at all. So there is some use for these, mainly old games that really don't like triggers. Uh, I use this specific controller for, but very good. I love the Logitech. Like I said, I've had this thing for 15 years and it still works and it's still fantastic. Next up, and this is one that I completely always get comments about, and I understand you really, really want this Xbox One to work, and you want it with its wireless dongle. Look, it, it looks clean, right? And it feels pretty good, it's a good controller. However, it is a pain in the butt to get working. I hate this controller for Linux. Uh, I don't recommend it. If it's all you got, you can get it working, but I'm not even gonna bother with a tutorial on this just because, God, it's, it's just a pain and it's different for each distribution that I've been on. I've been on Manjaro, I've been on Debian now, and uh, yeah, I, I just don't recommend this controller for Linux at all. If you have any other controller, I highly recommend it. The only controller that's worse than the Xbox One that I don't recommend, however, it is a fantastic controller for non-Linux usage is. The Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Ah, breaks my heart. I love this controller. The battery life in it is phenomenal. And it's all rechargeable. Great feeling controller. However, it only works really well tethered, meaning you have to always have it plugged into your USB. And if that's not a breaking point for you, you totally can use this thing. However, when I connected it via Bluetooth, I noticed the analog sticks 
add some glitches. It's not quite there. They'll probably work it out sometime in the next year or two, and it'll be a great controller on Linux. But short of 2020, I wouldn't bother trying to use the Nintendo Switch wireless through the Bluetooth like we did our PS4. So with that done, let's go ahead and move on to my absolute favorite, my number one go-to controller for any game out there. This is what I am using. And it's the Steam controller. I absolutely love this thing. The toggle buttons on the back, Ah, oh, great, the button, the light up button, all customizable. You can go ahead and configure keyboard commands so you can play your keyboard mouse games, which that sounds horrible using a controller for it, but there's some games that are just awesome, such as Diablo. If you watch my Diablo setup video, you'd know that I actually use this controller sometimes in Diablo if I'm just grinding something away or doing a Path of Exile too. Uh, any kind of grind, these controllers are awesome. Now, it's still not as versatile as keyboard and mouse, obviously, and there's some limitations to, the, to it, but for the mindless hack and slash, I don't, you know, I'm starting to get carpal tunnel in my right hand from all my computer usage over the years, and I, anytime I can use a controller, I do. So that is my six controllers, Steam controller, this, that. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of this video in the comments below. If you liked it, consider visiting me on Patreon, and I will see you in the next video.